Hello, Cumberland community. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to record video on your school laptop, which is a Windows machine. So, first of all, you will be using uh, two different apps to do this, and they are two apps that are already on your computers, on your devices. So, to find those apps, you can go down to the magnifying glass to search for camera is the first one, all right? This is the one you'll be opening, camera, which is a Microsoft app. And the next one you'll be searching for is video editor, another Microsoft app. These come um, standard on all of the Microsoft computers. All right, so the first um, app that we're gonna look at is camera, all right? So it's this one down here that I'm, I've clicked on and we are in right here, and you can see me inside of the camera app, hello. Um, so what you need to know about the camera app is that it has two functions, all right? One is taking video, and one is taking photos. For this, you'll probably be mostly taking video. Um, the other part of this app, and it's very simple, that you need to know about is going to be the camera roll. So just like you have photos in a camera roll on your phone, um, you'll have a camera roll on the camera app as well. Um, so I actually started um, making a little video just with the intro of the book with no pictures, an excellent read aloud. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that video. All right, so I have the video here and this is in my camera roll, all right? All right, so we have the basic um, video of me reading the beginning of this book. All right, so now we need to go into the other app that we're gonna use, which is called the Video Editor, Editor app. Looks like this. All right, so in this app, you're gonna have different projects. All right, well, I'll show you the video projects pane. All right, and you can click new video project if you'd like which will bring up this screen. You can name your video, like book with no pictures, read aloud. All right, press okay. You'll see the title comes up over here. And to add the video that you had to your video editor, you could go ahead and press the add button. And you can either find this video um, in the uh, file explorer or it should be available right from something called your collection. So I'll click on my collection. And as you can see, I have the first 54 seconds of the book with no pictures. So let me select it and add it to my video editor. All right, so it's in here, that's great. Um, I should be able to drag items from um, this project library right into what's called the storyboard below. So here you'll see the video showing up over here and you'll also see the video showing up down here. And you'll see a toolbar across the top of this area that can help you do stuff. So let's play around with a couple of those. Um, the trim is gonna be one of the most important ones that you'll use. So if you have a little bit of extra uh, video at the beginning of your video that you want to cut off, this would be the tool to use. So maybe I'll trim the first few seconds and we'll have it coming in right about here. I can see myself starting to talk. All right, so I can hit done. And now that video portion will be trimmed just a little bit. Um, so if you have multiple videos that you would like to squish together and put in one video project, this is where you'd do that as well you can go ahead and add another video. I don't have one in my camera roll right now, um, so I won't be able to show you, but it should be very simple and using the same process. Uh, you can also add text. You can split a video in half if you want to just take a little bit of it and maybe take part of it at the beginning and use part of it at the end of a video and put something in the middle. Um, let's take a look at the text. So I'll click on the text feature and that'll pull up. Um, this can be really fun. You can make a title for your video. Um, 
let's see how this works. So let's go closer to the middle of my video by seeking through it. All right. All right, so maybe I wanna put something in this part of the video. Um, so I could use the joy if I wanted to, I could click on that and put my text in here. Maybe I wanna say, Mr. Goddard is awesome. All right, that's pretty long. Nope, not awful, awesome. Here we go. All right, so I could change the way that looks like this. There's some kind of preset things here. Maybe I like this kind of bold, awesome thing. All right, and I could also look at the layout as well. So I could put it at the top, at the side, all in the middle, which doesn't work for my video, or at the bottom. Um, so when you're done with that, you'll click done, and then the text will show up just in that little bit that you selected. Um, I won't go over all of these. You can also think about different things like um, different filters. So if it's too dark, you could add a filter to it to make it a little bit lighter. Um, you can mess around with the 3D effects and the speed if you think that's necessary. Um, and the last thing you're gonna do is click the finish video. All right, you probably wanna do it high quality because if we're posting these online, we want it to look professional and we can export it. All right, it'll take a little bit of time probably to export these things. But um, once you get here, um, you can decide where you wanna put it. If you wanna hit the browse, um, I recommend putting it on the desktop so it's easy to find. And then you could export it to your desktop. All right, if you guys have any questions about using the video editor um, on your school laptop, um, let me know. I can help you with other things. Thank you very much.